<laughs> the white balance on this camera kind of floats all over the place, but I can't really tell like if I'm just really this orange. Um, I mean, it's plausible because I've been swimming outside all summer. I just broke the front fork off my bike too on the way back the other day from the pool and miraculously didn't notice <laughs> until most of the way back. Um, but my bike is completely hosed now and I have to get the part. Luckily the part is under warranty though and that's gonna be a whole deal to get that. Yeah, so I forgot and then I remembered and then forgot and then remembered what I was gonna talk about. And that is semiotics plus topology. And that is information architecture. Ooh. You're gonna have to put up with me and my intractable writing. But what I mean by this, and this is sort of spurred from something somebody was saying the other day about like how software companies change their interfaces and screw people up. And so, I mean, semiotics just has to do with signs, thing, anything that, that means anything. And semantics is, is just, a, you know, you can have semantics in there too. Topology, if you don't understand what topology is, topology is like, take geometry, take away the angles and the distances, and you get topology. It has to do with the connections between things. You know, the, the uh, coffee cup uh, is the same thing as a donut. Kind of a deal. Um, let's put some sprinkles on there. And uh, the idea behind that is when you think of any kind of information system, it's made up of stuff that looks like this. You got a node and another node, and then you got some kind of relation between the two nodes. And so this has a meaning, and this has a meaning, and this has a meaning, I'm gonna call that R for relation. And then there's also potentially an R inverse relation, R to the negative one. And this is kind of like, you can kind of construct anything out of this. So like when you think of like your quintessential hierarchy, you know, whatever. this structure could be constructed from this structure. Um, you know, same sort of thing like containment or set theory, whatever, Venn diagrams, that kind of thing, same deal. You just have different relations between different entities. And so you say, well, this means something, this means something, this means something, this means something. And then there's like this relation, sort of meta meaning. So this is like stuff that you see in category theory. But on the screen, you think about like a website, you know, you might have this going on. You got things here, you got that, whatever. You've got, you know, a logo and a header and a sidebar and, you know, the content and whatever. You've got these kinds of uh, uh, structures. You know, you might have buttons on an interface or whatever. And of course, like what ends up happening in applications is that people move this stuff around willy nilly and they break these relationships. And so like if you sort of think about like how it is that a human being moves through an information space, it's like, oh, there's a thing that I recognize. I'm going to go to it and then uh, and then I'm going to follow a path that goes through to to get to the thing that I that I want. So the semiotic part, if you change what the, the the points this means, you know, or you change the label of it, 
then it's no longer something somebody recognizes. And if you change the relational structure, then you, know, you actually change the topology, then like the path is broken. And so people can't get to the place. So like there's within the geometry of an interface or a page or something like that, like there's degrees of freedom, like you can move stuff around like relative to each other. But if you start moving stuff around like in you know, discontinuous ways, then, um, then you're going to break stuff and you're going to confuse people and they're going to complain. Now, we don't really have good infrastructure for like encoding the semantics and the topology, semiotics and topology. You know, when you go and you change a label, like the memory of what the label used to be just goes away. Or when you go and you change the topological structure, like it doesn't, like the, the system doesn't go, eh, you've just broke the link, you know, you just broke the path. Like it, there's no sort of infrastructure for, for doing that. It's all kind of got to be done by hand. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that would be a useful uh, capability to have so that, you know, when you're going and you're updating, you know, the, uh, the uh, user interfaces, which, you know, people do all the time, you're not actually breaking these elementary uh, concepts. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee.